Hello everyone, welcome again. So today we will talk about the RTC or real-time clock uh, issue. Uh, if you face an issue that you already set the correct time and date, however, when you re call the function to retrieve the current uh, the current date and time, you might get some garbage like this. I already set the correct date and time, but you see what I got. Is, is very weird data uh, and also might get uh, just I mean you might get the feedback from the now function is 165 165 165 165 not zeros here in my case I got zeros and if if I remember correctly also last time I I got 165 slash 165 165 I mean 165 165 for the date uh, month for the year and also for the time so always return 165 but <clears throat> today I got zeros so either one it's mean there's something wrong with the RTC data and in this tutorial we will learn how to address this issue okay so First of all, to debug and solve this issue, I will, and before that, I will explain my setup. So here I am using the DS1307 RTC, and I'm using with I'm using it with uh, Arduino Mega or Atmel uh, 2560. The MCU part number. Okay. So, first of all, to to solve this issue or to debug the issue, first I will check the hardware. Okay. I'll check the hardware. I might get a lost communication or my my serial uh, clock or data that I mean the ITC pins might not connect it successfully which mean one of the signal lines been brought or it's been twisted the data go to the clock and clock might go to the data this is one of the issue or the crystal is not being connected correctly or wrong crystal frequency okay the battery no issue with the battery just that one save or one keep the time that's all but it won't give you a wrong time this is the thing okay so from here my hardware is okay so this is the first thing you would check before you proceed further okay the second thing is you might need to check your library Uh, okay, here I'm using the where's my RTC? I'm using this library RTC DS1307. Okay, so this is the second thing you might need to double check. The library need to be compatible. Sometimes you have different uh, ICs that require different library okay so now my hardware okay my library okay however i still got some weird uh data has been retrieved from my rtc so let's see what's happened here so let me explain my code uh sorry it might look like kind of mess and not easy to follow but i'll explain to you in a while <clears throat> so here in my main file I have the setup and the loop. So in the loop, I'm printing a string. Okay, this string. Before 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 we talk about the string, let's go to a time. I have a timer actually. This timer is fire at each five seconds. Uh, sorry, four seconds. Every fire four seconds will be fired, and when this timer fire it will call a function okay 
This function will query the date and time from the RTC. This is the function, okay? So this function is in the RTC header. So this is the RTC, here it is. So this is our function. It just uh, retrieve the current date and time. Then it will store it into the string. Then this string, I will print it out in the loop. That's all, okay? So again, start from the timer. Every four seconds, we'll call this function, and this function will retrieve the current date and time, store it in the string, and the loop will print it out. Then we got this data. Okay, so we notice here <clears throat> the function that retrieved the data, retrieved the date and time. Uh, data from the RTC is being called from the timer. Okay, from the timer. So if we disable this and we call it from the main loop, say from here, then we try again. Okay, is so loading. Okay, done, thanks. Here we go. You see now, my date and time is correct. Oh, I'm also, I mean, with no issue at all, I have no complaint with, with this. So that means if I call my function that retrieves the date and time from the RTC from the loop, got no issue. Okay, but if I call it from another ISR or another interrupt, which timer timer is considered as an interrupt, okay, this ISR or this block or this function, it will be fired when the timer that I configure here is triggered at each four seconds. Okay, so to get to the root cause of this is that this RTC is being utilized in ISR or interrupt service routine and here the timer itself is a another ISR another interrupt service so cannot call an ISR from another ISR that's why we will got some data clash and Got some garbage. Okay, so this is the issue in my case. Got no hardware issue, got no software issue, but the place where I call my function to retrieve the data from the RTC is wrong. Cannot retrieve the data or cannot use the I2C because this 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 uh, RTC used I2C interface. So can I2C, if you study about I2C guys, it is utilize another ISR, another ISR timing thing. So cannot, cannot call another ISR within an ISR, okay? So this is my issue. If I comment this, let's check back again. You see my date and time, correct? I comment the one in the while loop, which is out of the ISR, then I will activate the ISR one and upload again. Let's see. Okay. So please notice that if you want to call a function or call the I2C related function within an ISR you shouldn't do that okay you should just flag it then you call it again from another place okay so done already and here we go you see now I get my rubbish again I can see it start to run for a few seconds then give me the 
rubbish data. Let me reset. Here we go, you see, now it's correct, 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 correct. Then suddenly, here we go, jump to the carpet. Okay, so we can't, it's very wrong idea to call uh, I2C related function, okay, from another ISR, because I2C itself is another ISR, okay. So, yeah, this is the main issue. These guys, be careful of this, is a trap for young players and trap for me also. I faced this previously, then I figured the, the solution. So, what if, for example, I don't want to acquire the data continuously, so I won't face the issue? What I would do from here, I will have flag. You see, for example, timer tick, or I have a flag that okay, uh, this. Uh, what I call this uh, ISR has been fired, so I will flag it here. Then from here at the main, I will check if this flag is already flagged. Then I will acquire the data and print my statements. Okay, you see here now my data is stable and nice and everything back to normal. So yeah, here we reach to the end of our tutorial. I wish you have learned something new and happy learning. Please let me know if you need any further information. Thanks and see you.